we must return to the Lord. You see what's going on in this world. This world is in chaos right now. We must return to the Lord. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. We as believers must uphold a standard of holiness. We can't be on the fence any longer. We can't be walking in the world any longer. We must return back to God. We must set an example. America needs to set an example for the world to show what a godly nation looks like, to show what a godly people look like. We should be an inspiration, an example to the rest of the world. And we as believers all over the world should be an example to anyone we come in contact with. This is the message for everyone, including myself. We all have to see the face of God like never before. You see it on the news. You see it all on social media, all the crazy things that are happening. We need Jesus. America needs Jesus. This world needs Jesus. And we as the church have to be ready because revival is on its way. Jesus is going to return soon, but he doesn't want any to perish. He wants all to come to repentance. He's going to send revival. And we must be ready for the souls that are about to come in. So church, we must get ready. We must return back to holiness. We must set the standard back to what it used to be a holy standard, a godly standard. We have to get back to the word. We got to get back to praying and seeking the face of God. We all do. Repentance is necessary. If you've fallen short of God's glory, which we all have, get it right. Sin is, is not excusable. But forgiveness is, is right at your fingertips. You just have to accept it. Jesus went to the cross to pay the penalty for sin so we may receive the forgiveness of those very sins. We just have to receive it. Confess those sins to God. And he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We just got to lay it at his feet. Repentance is necessary. We got to ask God for forgiveness and we got to change. We got to turn. This is not the time to go back to sin over and over again. I struggle with it. We all struggle with it. But it's time to let the sins go. It's time to let the world go. And it's time to live for God. Jesus Christ is going to return. We must be ready. Nobody wants to see their loved one not make it in. Imagine you go to heaven and your loved one's still here. Imagine the Lord comes back. You get raptured away and your, your family, your friends are still here. We got to get ready. Folks, get ready. Let's pray. Let's seek the face of God. Let's get back to holiness. Let's return to the Lord.